Going on a safari means going on an expedition to explore wildlife in its natural habitat. So you would expect a car that is called a safari to be able to go off-road very well. However, Tata had other plans for their Tata safari. They wanted to conquer a jungle that hasn't been conquered before just exclusively. And that is the urban jungle. So this safari now is specialized to conquer the urban jungle. How is it? What's it like on a daily basis? Well, we're here to find it out. Welcome to another episode of Upshift. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and you're watching The Driver's Hub. The Tata Safari was first launched in the year 1998 and it was a hit since it was a proper SUV that came with petrol and diesel options but more importantly it came with four wheel drive which made it a great choice and it was loved by every Indian and off-road lover in the country. The car was so good that it was exported to Europe in 1999. Over the years with the evolution of the Safari quite a few changes were made to the car but the basic design language was never changed. It always remained a boxy design and always had that four-wheel drive system as an option. So in 2021, when the car was launched, people were disappointed that Tata no longer provides the four-wheel drive system with the Safari. And the car had turned from a rugged off-roader that was used by the army to something which is more modern and luxurious and doesn't have the off-roading charm anymore. But we have to stay unbiased and ask the real question. How is it now in its luxury SUV-ish form? In my opinion, the new Safari looks premium, sleek and most of all futuristic. The front has gone most of its work done. Since this new grille has come into place, it looks really imposing but it's still a simplistic design. On top of it, you get this LED bar that also works as a side uh, indicator and it has its swipe feature too. So it looks really nice when you're indicating. The headlights are hidden right here underneath which make it look really futuristic, but it's still a very simplistic design. Moving on towards the side profile, you will notice you've got new 19 inch wheels with a slightly slimmer side profile, but the wheel looks fantastic, especially this bit in between the spokes that connect the spokes. It encompasses the rotor perfectly, making it look like a very good afterthought. In terms of side profile, it still looks pretty much the same as the older Safari and from this generation also, I really like the way the blackout roof line makes it a little slimmer from the side. Moving on towards the rear, you'll get to see that that bar effect is also there across the bum of the car and you also have a new rear bumper. All in all, the car looks very futuristic. It doesn't look like a rugged machine. But it still is a proper, proper futuristic SUV looking car, which could be very appealing to a lot of people. The inside of the new Tata Safari has also gotten quite a bit of an upgrade. You now get this four spoke steering wheel with a piano black finish right in the middle which is very susceptible to fingerprints. And you also now get a fully digital instrument cluster right in front that can give you a full screen map once you've connected to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You've also got a 12.3 inch infotainment screen that is very responsive and even the UI is very useful and very easy to run. You also get a upgraded speaker system. Before you used to get 9 speakers, now you get a 10 speaker sound system. So it is very nice and very crisp. It also comes with 13 modes which is curated by JBL since all of these speakers are made by JBL. And you've also got 13 presets as to how you want the sound to come into the, into the cabin, which is very fancy. You've also got a dual zone climate control. You've got wireless CarPlay. 
you have a wireless charger and you've also got five driving modes so all in all the interior you've got everything that you need and more i can even i can keep going on you've got ventilated seats uh you've got memory seats you've also got a 360 degree camera with amazing resolution which is a highlight in my opinion the screens and the cameras give very very crisp images which give you a lot of confidence and oh you've also got a gesture controlled tailgate but how is it in the middle row let's check it out before we continue let me just apologize for the new wrappers and the brand newness of this car this is our friend's brand new car and we are trying to be as respectful as we can moving on towards the middle row it is a very nice place to be in in terms of thigh support it could do with a little bit more but good thing is that you can recline the backrest because i mean it's got a third row so there's a lot of space now in terms of creature comforts if you want a chauffeur mode there are buttons in the front seat for you to move the front seat to get a little bit more access not like there isn't any knee room already the armrest near the door is actually quite comfortable and you'll also get to see the JBL touches you've got four speakers on two doors and all of them are provided by JBL you've also got a blind for when you want a bit uh, more privacy and if you're feeling a bit too claustrophobic you've also got a panoramic sunroof which is massive and brings in quite a lot of light all in all a very nice place to be in but what you want to know about is how does it feel behind the driver's seat so let's just do that The new Safari comes with the exact same engine as before, the 2-liter diesel engine with 170 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque. But now it has been updated to be able to comply with the BS 6.2 guys. In terms of power delivery, it does a pretty good job at putting the power down. It's a very big car and the numbers don't seem that impressive. However, for the city it does a perfect job. and the mid range especially is nice and very tractable and super responsive so if you want to enjoy the paddle shifters that come in the top variant um it is really nice in the mid range of the engine talking about suspension it is a very nice ride and it irons out bumps pretty well at speeds however since you've got 19 inch wheels and uh, the tire profile is slightly smaller on low speeds when there are sharp bumps and uh, bits on the road then you can feel it transfer into the cabin however most of the noise isolation has done its has done a very good job in removing all of that outside noise it's a very nice place to be inside and it's awfully quiet yes at lower rpms and while ringing the engine out you can feel uh, some of the vibration transfer into the cabin however It is a very nice car to drive sedately and it is a very no nonsense car. It's pretty easy to ride and since the steering rack is now an electric steering rack, it is much more effortless than before making the car's experience much easier in the city. In an essence, the Tata Safari yes has lost the meaning of its name. It's not capable of going off-road. It's not capable of handling a safari. and it's not a all wheel drive you can't even get it as an all wheel drive car but as long as it conquers one jungle in our heads i think it should be good and that jungle is the urban one in terms of comfort it is great it takes bumps like if it is nobody's business and its turning radius is so small you would actually be surprised when you take your first u turn so all in all This is a really nice MPV. I wouldn't call it an SUV. It is a people carrier, but it does its job fantastically. The space in the front is great. It you've got all of the modern uh, luxuries that you would like from a car that needs to space all of your family. The middle row is great. You've got more than enough space and access in it, and the rear seats are also pretty comfortable too. 
the safari comes with four different uh, driving modes normal wet rough road mode and sport mode in sport mode you can uh, engage the paddle shifters making you have a little bit more control however it comes with a torque converter that has been set up to be a leisurely drive so don't expect lightning quick shifts nor a uh, very aggressive um, change in demeanor of the car however in sport mode yes the pedal map becomes a little bit more aggressive so you get some more response from the engine putting it into uh, eco driving mode or normal driving mode the car is fairly relaxed and is pretty no nonsense to drive all the way it becomes quite quiet and it stays in its lower gears in sport mode it sticks towards the mid range so that you've got as much response as you possibly need so if you're in the market for something that is refined that gives you some pretty good mileage and that is not heavy on your pocket that is affordable to pick up in the current segment and it needs to fit your entire family then the Tata Safari is a great option for you and on that bombshell thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video of upshift my name is bhavni vaswani and peace bye Mr. Rising, could you please report to the principal?